Fargard 9 The Nine Knights Barashnum The Native Americans and some other groups have nine night ceremonies. One through eleven description of the place for cleansing the unclean the Barashnum Ga twelve thirty six description of the cleansing thirty seven to forty four fees of the cleanser forty seven to fifty seven the false cleanser, his punishment, and then we have 45 and 46 that they're listing as belonging to the following far guard, and but if it's listed as part of it, um, the ceremony described in the Spargard is known among the Parsis as Barashnum Nu Shaba, or Nine Nights. Barashnum, because it lasts for nine nights. Isn't Shaba part of some of the words for the winter solstice? Um, but it's not part of the uh, list, name of the other ceremonies um, of the seasons. It is the great purification, the most efficacious of all. It not only makes the filed man clean, but opens to him the heavens. So although it was formerly intended only for the man defiled by the dead, it became during the Parsi period a pious work which might be performed without any corpse having been touched. Nay, its performance was prescribed once at least at the time of the new Zudi at the age of 15 when a young Parsi becomes a member of the community in order to wash away the natural uncleanliness that has been contracted in the maternal womb According to Sadar 36, Hyde 40. As to the word Barashnum, it seems not to refer to the ceremony itself, and it be nothing more than the Zen word Barashnum. Barashnum, the top of the head, the skull, the part of the body that is first to be washed. And age of 15 is the age in the Islamic world that that a male that they question regarding the male um, you know his sanity and his as he hit puberty that sort of thing um, before accepting him as a full on member of the community um, and psychologists agree by that time if puberty and no mental defect is there they should have full accountability and ability to choose with, you know, based on their ability, uh, based on their physical situation and ability, they should be able to choose that morality. Um, yeah, people make more mistake, most of their mistakes between that and 30, but let's, let's be real. They're, it's still their mistakes. Um, You know, let's not retard people until they're 30 and then try to treat them like they're 12 or something, like in my country. Um, part 1A compromises what is listed as 1, 4, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 14 is also listed as 8, uh, 16, 22, and 24. 1. Zarathustra. Axed Ahura Mazda, O Beneficent Spirit, 
maker of the material world, thou holy one, how shall they manage here below who want to cleanse the body of one defiled by the dead? For Ahura Mazda answered, A godly man, O Spitama Zarathustra, who speaks truth, who learns the holy word, and who knows best the rites of cleansing according to the law of Mazda, such a man shall fell the trees off the surface of the ground on a space of nine viva Zeus square. Um, they were actually supposed to become a nation of priests, so it's like everybody's supposed to try to learn some of these rules, but obviously they have um, became too much right. Uh, Av Avibas uh, Avibas Zoo seems to have been as much as ten paces. Nine. It should be the part of the ground where there is least water, and where there are fewest trees, the part which is the cleanest and driest, at least passed through by sheep and oxen and by fire, the son of Ahura Mazda, by the consecrated bundles of Beresma, by the faithful. Now, they don't literally believe that fire or anything else is the son of God. Um, and originally it was just worshipping with these things and showing respect and that sort of thing, not calling on them like the sorcerers call upon the salt or the herb or, you know. Eleven. How far from the fire? How far from the water? How far from the consecrated bundles of Barisma? How far from the faithful? Twelve. Our Amazda answered, Thirty paces from the fire, thirty paces from the water, thirty paces from the consecrated bundles of Barisma. Three paces from the faithful. Thirteen. Then thou shalt dig a hole two fingers deep. If the summer has come, four fingers deep. If the winter and ice have come. Fourteen. Thou shalt dig a second hole two fingers deep. If the summer has come, four fingers deep. If the winter has and ice have come, thou shalt dig a third hole two fingers deep. If the summer has come, four fingers deep. If the winter and ice have come, thou shalt dig a fifth hole two fingers deep. If the summer has come, four fingers deep. If the winter and ice have come, thou shalt dig a sixth hole two fingers deep. If the summer has come, four fingers deep. If the winter and ice have come. Now, I I'm, might say that 8, maybe we should call it 15 instead of 8. But we see they combine and expand um, the numbering. Um, so still on 14. How far from one another? One pace. How much is the pace? As much as 3 feet. 16. Thou, then thou shalt dig 3 holes more. 2 fingers deep. If the summers come, four fingers deep, if the winter and ice have come. How far from the former six? Three paces. What sort of paces? Such as are taken in walking. How much are these three paces? As much as nine feet. Twenty-two. Then thou shalt draw a furrow all around with a metal knife. How far from the holes? Three paces. What sort of paces? Such as are taken in walking. How much? Are those three paces? These six holes contain Gomez. The holes may be dug from the north to the south. And then there's three holes that contain water. How much are these three paces? As much as nine feet. Twenty-four. Thou shalt draw twelve furrows, three of which thou shalt around the first three holes, Three thou shalt draw around the first six holes. Three thou shalt draw around the nine holes. Three thou shalt draw around the three holes outside the six holes. At each of the three times nine feet thou shalt place stones as steps to the holes, the potsherds, or stumps, or clods, or any 
heard matter. And let us remember that the technology to have the experience or whatever of worshiping God versus worshiping the devils or the elements or the um, spirits or angels of the elements or however you're going to phrase these things, it's the same technology. I mean, certainly some stuff would not be allowed on the religion side, but the furrows must be drawn during the day. They must be drawn with a knife. They must be drawn with a recitation of spells. While drawing the furrows, the cleanser recites three asham bahus. Holiness is the best of good, and so on. The Favarana, I declare myself a worshipper of Mazda, a follower of Zarathustra, a foe of the fiend, the Kashnum of Sirash, and the Bog of Sirash. They must be drawn from the north. The furrow or Kesh plays a greater part in the Mazdian liturgy than any other. By means of the furrow, drawn with proper spells, and according to the laws of spiritual war, Man either besieges the fiend or entrenches himself against him. In the present case, the drug being shut up inside the cache and thus excluded from the world outside and being driven back step by step by the strength of the holy water and spells finds at last no place of refuge but hell and the world is freed from her presence. Three holes for water, six holes for Gomez. You know, the... Is it full urine or uh, anyways? The nine feet between the holes containing Gomez and those containing water, the nine feet between the first holes and the furrows, the nine feet between the last holes and the furrows, that the foot of the unclean one may not touch the earth. And, well, I, I would question the urine thing as a necessary part of the ritual. Um, Sounds like something the Shayatim and all Jin would have wanted, but, um, or the Da Avas, as we're calling them. Um, 1B compromises what's listed as 31, 35, 40, 43, 50, 56, 64, 70, 76, 82, 88, 94, 102, 108, 113, 118, 119, 120, 123, 125, 130, 133, 137, 141, 145. Thirty-one. Then the unclean one shall walk to the holes. Thou, O Zarathustra, shall stand outside by the furrow, and thou shalt recite Namaska Ya Armaetis Izaka and the unclean one shall repeat Namaska ya armaetis izaka. Uh, that's from Yasna forty nine ten. So I, I, I don't know what that means. Um, thirty five. The drug becomes weaker and weaker at every one of those words which are to smite the fiend Angra Inu, to smite a Eshma of the bloody spear, to smite the Maza Inya fiends, to smite all the fiends. 40. Then thou shalt sprinkle him with Gomez from a spoon of brass, or of lead, thou shalt take a stick with nine knots, O Spitama Zarathustra, 
and thou shalt fasten the leaden spoon to the upper part of the stick. And so long that the cleanser may take Gomez or water from the holes and sprinkle the unclean one without touching him, without going inside the furrows. 43. They shall wash his hands first. If his hands be not washed first, he makes his whole body unclean. When he has washed his hands three times, after his hands have been washed, it shall sprinkle the forepart of the skull. Then the Druganasu rushes in front, between his brows. 50. Thou shalt sprinkle him in front, between the brows, and the Druganasu rushes upon the back part of the skull. Thou shalt sprinkle the back part of the skull, and the Druganasu rushes upon the jaws. Thou shalt sprinkle the jaws, and the Druganasu rushes upon the right ear. 56. Thou shalt sprinkle the right ear, then the Druganasu rushes upon the left ear. Thou shalt sprinkle the left ear, then the Druganasu rushes upon the right shoulder. Thou shalt sprinkle the right shoulder, and then the Druganasu rushes upon the left shoulder. Thou shalt sprinkle the left shoulder, then the Druganasu rushes upon the right armpit. 64. Thou shalt sprinkle the right armpit, and then the Druganasu rushes upon the left armpit. Thou shalt sprinkle the left armpit, then the Druganasu rushes upon the chest. Thou shalt sprinkle the chest, then the Druganasu rushes upon the back. 70. Thou shalt sprinkle the back, then the Druganasu rushes upon the the right nipple. Thou shalt sprinkle the right nipple, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left nipple. Thou shalt sprinkle the left nipple, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the right rib. Thou shalt sprinkle the right rib, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left rib. Thou shalt sprinkle the left rib, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the right hip. Thou shalt sprinkle the right hip, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left hip. 82. Thou shalt sprinkle the left hip, and then the Drugnasu rushes upon the sexual parts. Thou shalt sprinkle the sexual parts, if the unclean one be a man, thou shalt sprinkle him first behind, then before. If the unclean one be a woman, thou shalt sprinkle her first before, then behind. Then the Drugnasu rushes upon the right thigh. 88. Thou shalt sprinkle the right thigh, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left thigh. Thou shalt sprinkle the left thigh, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the right knee. Thou shalt sprinkle the right knee, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left knee. 94. Eighty-two starts with thou shalt sprinkle the left hip. Eighty-eight, thou shalt sprinkle the right thigh. Um, right thigh, and then the drugnasu rushes upon the left thigh. Thou shalt sprinkle the left thigh, and the drugnasu rushes upon the right knee. Thou shalt sprinkle the right knee, and the drugnasu rushes upon the left knee. Ninety-four, thou shalt sprinkle the left knee, then the drugnasu rushes upon the right leg. And one of the differences we... Oh, I'm stopping in the middle of the verse here. Um, one of the differences, like, in the Islamic system, a person doesn't, oh, well, this part of the arm and this part of the, the you know, they just wash the side and wash the side. Um, they don't. Oh, we have to wash the nipples separately and the ribs separately and uh, the elbows, you know. The, but that's, you know, different systems. Thou shalt sprinkle the right leg. Then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left leg. Thou shalt sprinkle the left leg, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the right ankle. Thou shalt sprinkle the right ankle, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left ankle. 102. Thou shalt sprinkle the left ankle, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the right instep. Thou shalt sprinkle the right instep, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left instep. Thou shalt sprinkle the left instep, then the Drugnasu is driven to the sole of the foot, where what is seen of her is like the wing of a fly. 108. He shall press his toes upon the ground and shall raise up his heels. Thou shalt sprinkle his right sole, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left sole. Thou shalt sprinkle the left sole, then the Drugnasu is driven to the toes. Where? What is seen of her is like the wing of a fly. 113. He shall press his heels upon the ground and shall raise up his toes. Thou shalt sprinkle his right toe, then the Drugnasu rushes upon the left toe. Thou shalt sprinkle the left toe, then the Drugnasu flies away to the regions of the north in the shape of a raging fly with knees and tail sticking out, all stained with stains, and like the phallus 
Krafstras. And a 13, each of us is heels. And each of us is toes. Okay. Um, 118. And thou shalt say those fiend smiting and most healing words. Yata Ahuva Ariel, which is the formula. The will of the Lord is the law of holiness. The riches of Bohu Mano shall be given to him who works in this world for Masta, and wields according to the will of Ahura the power he gave him to relieve the poor. Kemna Mazda, which continues the, the, the formula. Whom hast thou placed to protect me, O Mazda? While the hate of the fiend is grasping me, whom but thy Atar and Bahu Mano, by whose work the holy world goes on, reveal to me the rules of thy law. Ke Verethremga, which compromises the formula. Who is he who will smite the fiend in order to maintain thy ordinances. Teach me clearly thy rules for this world and for the next, that Sraasha may come with a Vahomano and help whomsoever thou pleasest. Keep us from our hater, O Mazda, and Armaete Spenta. Perish, O fiendish Droog. Perish, O brood of the fiend. Perish, O world of the fiend, perish away, O Droog, rush away, O Droog, perish away, O Droog, perish away to the regions of the north, never more to give unto death the living world of the Holy Spirit. 119. As the, at the first hole, the man becomes freer from the Nasu, and thou shalt say to the fiend smiting and and most healing words, Yata Ahu Va'erio, which we've enumerated before. The keep us away part wasn't part of the Ke Verethra bit, by the way. At the second hole, he becomes freer from the Nasu, and he shall say those fiend smiting and most healing words, Yata Ahu Va'erio. At the third hole, he becomes freer from the Nasu. And thou shalt say those fiends smiting and most healing words, you know, formula, yatta ahuv erio. And a lot of cultures, the first line is what things were known by. At the fourth hole, he comes freer from the nasu, then thou shalt say those fiends smiting and most healing words, yatta ahuv erio. At the fifth hole, he becomes freer from the nasu, then. Thou shalt say those fiend smiting and most healing words, Yatha Ahu Vairio. At the sixth hole, he becomes freer from the Nasu. Then thou shalt say those fiend smiting and most healing words, Yatha Ahu Vairio. Didn't mean to squeak the chair or anything else. Then. Um, 120. Afterwards, the unclean one shall sit down inside the furrows. Outside the furrows of the six holes, four fingers from those furrows, there shall he cleanse his body with thick handfuls of dust. You know, there's a distinction between clean dirt and other dirt, obviously, as we've enumerated some of that. Inside the furrows, outside the furrows of the six holes. Okay, um, so between the furrows of the six holes containing Gomez and the furrows of the holes containing water. 123. Fifteen times shall they take up dust from the ground for him to rub his body, and they shall wait there until he is dry, even to the last hair on his head. 125. When his body is dry, then he shall step over the holes containing water. At the first hole, he shall wash his body once with water. At the second hole, he shall wash his body twice with water. At the third hole, he shall wash his body thrice with water, 130. Then he shall perfume with perfumes of Ur Vasna, or 
Mohu Kaana or Wahu Karate or Hadha Na Epata or from any sweet smelling plant. Then he shall put on his clothes and shall go back to his house. So what is is he perfuming the environment himself or his clothes? 133. He shall sit down there in the place of infirmity, inside the house, apart from the other worshippers of Masta. He shall not go near the fire, nor near the water, nor near the earth, nor near the cow, nor near the trees, nor near the faithful, either man or woman. Thus shall he continue until three nights have passed, and three nights have passed, he shall wash his body, he shall wash his clothes, with Gomez and water to make them clean. In the place of infirmity, the Ormestga. 137. Then he shall sit down again in the place of infirmity inside the house apart from the other worshippers of Masta. He shall not go near the fire, nor near the water, nor near the earth, nor near the cow, nor near the trees, nor near the faithful, either man or woman. Thus shall he continue until six nights have passed. When six nights have passed, he shall wash his body, he shall wash his clothes with gomez and water to make them clean. And ash in urine or done right are not exactly the worst things to clean up with if it's, you know, but they're not using human, which indicates some things there that they're, they're aware of diseases that can um, be with the organ of release. Um, but notice how they don't actually worship the fire. They don't worship the water or the trees or the cow or are a lot of these things other, um, and, and none of the interpretations are the, is the cow a god or the fire or any of this stuff. Um, you won't find in any of the text regarding Zoroastrianism, well, regarding it, but people who don't know, like people wander into this thing as, oh, big old fire, that must be their god. You know, that sort of thing. The mountains of Persia, come on. Snow on the ground, 10 mornings of the year, <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, 10 months of the year, that's, you know, I've been in mountains that are like that, um, that there could be frost or snow for, I mean, uh, those, or, uh, Oregon and Washington has mountains like that, so, um, you know, 141. Then he shall sit down in the place of infirmity, inside the house, apart from the other worshippers of Masta, he shall not go near the fire, nor near the water, nor near the earth, nor near the cow, nor near the trees, nor near the faithful, either man or woman. Thus shall he continue until nine nights have passed. When nine nights have passed, he shall wash his body, he shall wash his clothes with gomez and water to make them clean. 145. He may thenceforth go near the fire, near the water, near the earth, near the cow, near the trees, and near the faithful, either man or woman. Two compromises, what we're going to call 146, 150, 154, 157, 159, 162, 164, 166, 167, 169. And so there's a tariff that physicians are to pay. That's one note. And there's a clause. as far as something and the drug and it's developed differently in the next um, Fargard. So, you know, Fargard 10. And we're having the mention of the cleanser who has not performed the cleansing according to the rites. Shall be taken to the desert place and there they shall nail him with four nails and take off the skin from his body and cut off his head if he has performed the patet for his sin, he shall be holy. 
that is, he shall go to paradise. If he has not performed the patet, he shall stay in hell till the day of resurrection. Okay. Uh, 146. Thou shalt cleanse a priest for the holy blessing. Thou shalt cleanse the lord of province for the value of a camel of high value. Thou shalt cleanse the lord of a town for the value of a stallion. Thou shalt cleanse the lord of a borough for the value of a bull. Thou shalt cleanse the master of a house for the value of a cow three years old. 150. Thou shalt cleanse the wife of the master of a house for the value of a plowing cow. Thou shalt cleanse a menial for the value of a drop cow. Thou shalt cleanse a young child for the value of a lamb. 154. These are the different cattle that the worshippers of Mazda shall give to him who has cleansed them, if they can afford it. If they cannot afford it, they shall give him any other reward that may make him leave their houses well pleased with them and free from anger. 157. For if the man who has cleansed them leave their houses displeased with them and full of anger in the Drug Nasu, enters them by the nose, by the ears, uh, uh, by the nose, by the eyes, by the tongue, by the jaws, by the sexual organs, by the hinder parts. 159. And the Drug Nasu rushes upon them even to the end of the nails, and they are unclean thenceforth from forever and ever. It grieves the sun indeed, O Spitama Zarathustra, to shine upon a man defiled by the dead. It grieves the moon, it grieves the stars. Now, shouldn't we distinguish between the defilement of the body and the defilement of you know, the mind or the soul or something? Uh, 162. That man delights them, O Spetma Zarathustra, who cleanses from the Nasu those whom she has defiled. He delights the fire, he delights the water, he delights the earth, he delights the cow, he delights the trees, he delights the faithful. Both men and women. Zarathustra acts to her Mazda, O maker of the material world, thou holy one, what shall be his reward after his soul has parted from his body who is cleansed from the Nasu, anyone defiled by her? 166. Her Mazda answered, The welfare of the blessed abode thou canst promise to that man for the, his reward in the other world. 167. Zarathustra axed her Mazda, O maker of the material world, thou holy one, how shall I fight against that Drug who from the dead rushes upon the living? How shall I fight against the Nasu who from the dead defiles the living? 169. Haramazda answered, Say aloud those words in the Gathas that are to be said twice. Say aloud those words in the Gatha that are to be said thrice. Say aloud those words in the Gathas that are to be said four times. And the Drug, Nas and the Drug shall fade away like the self-moving arrow, like the carpet of the earth, when the year is over, like its garment, 